Hey guys, we haven't done any 10Q work in quite a while. And it's on my mind, so let's do some. Uh, we'll play Crazy Stone. We'll play it at 8Q, so play a little less garbage, but it's still that rank area 8 to 12Q where, you know, you know the rules, but you don't really know how the game's going. Uh, so let's just, uh, let's try. Okay, uh, 8Q, we're white. We're white because uh, a lot of players are uncomfortable being white. So if you start playing white, you get more familiar. We're gonna make it easy on ourselves by going cross court. Makes the game a little easier. I kind of don't like four, four fours. I like to have at least one regular just second, so I'll kick one off. And now we can, there's so many things we can do. But I'm just going to play the corner Jaseki. Oh, oh, I love this Jaseki is white. Because I'm alive, I have points, and I have sent it. This like makes me so happy. Uh, next, lots of possibility, but I'm going to go with the 3-3. Three, three. Again, life points, very easy. Now, I'm not going to talk through each Jaseki. Run, run, thank you. you should, these are simple Jasekis. If you haven't memorized them, I'm mean, easy to understand, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, where to? Uh, one important part we haven't mentioned yet. <laughs> uh, let's go back here quickly. Okay. In the bottom left, we see the white stones and we ask, is it time to go to play away? Are we done here? The answer is no, because the white stones can be surrounded easily. Not that we're going to die, but we're going to feel constrained, confined, uncomfortable. Well, it's not about life and death. It's about comfort. So when we come out one more time, oh, now we have life and we're out. Very comfortable. Up here, is it time to play away? No. I'm one more Blackstone. I mean, we might die. So we keep going. What about now? Well, we are alive, but he gets to turn. The turn's just really big and it's virtually sente. So we don't need to play again, but if we do, we're just can take a breath and it's like, you know, I'm just not in trouble at all. So we, you have a choice here. You don't have to play again. But it's kind of nice. Okay. So now we can play away. Where to? We go through our checklist. Am I okay? Yep. All my groups are fine. Is he okay? Yep. All his groups are fine. What's big? Uh, left, top, bottom, right. Four big areas. Which one's biggest? If they're similar, then just play whatever. It doesn't matter. But they're not similar. There's two things about the right that claim that it's biggest. One is the width. Width is a nice pointer towards size, but it's not the biggest one. But it is a good one. So very wide. And black has a huge wall begging to do great things. So the right's uh, best. Uh, we're going to go real simple here. And we're just going to play a corner, which happens to be playing on the right side. So this is, by all means, helping to negate the right as we do a good corner thing. Hopefully that makes some sense. And leave questions in the comments. If it doesn't, I'd love to hear how I can say it more clearly, answer it more clearly. <clears throat> 
Okay. He just approached our group. We have to ask ourselves, are we okay? Now, this is a bigger thing than you're thinking. I found cue players either ignore without thinking about it at all, or they just stay there and just keep playing and keep playing without ever asking the question. Okay, so are we, if we ignore, will we start feeling constrained, uncomfortable, things like this? Uh, and the rule is if you have three options for comfort, for health, then you are comfortable and helpful. So White's options are an extend along upward, run to the center, or run to the corner. We're not even in the corner yet. That's one thing about the four fours. It's not, it's terrible for the corner. So three easy options. So we're fine. So now we can go play wherever we want. We're fine. He's fine. Don't think Ooh, my corner. It's not your corner. Let's ask a silly question. How many points does white have in the bottom right? Zero. What about now? Zero. That's not your corner. You played a 4 4. Black can simply play 3 3, and that's all his points. So you, you have no points there. If you want points there, play the 3-3 three, three or the 3-4, then you can start claiming some points. Okay, so we're up here. It's not our corner. We could take it, but we actually don't want to do that. We're just going to say we're fine, he's fine, what's big? Well, the right side is still one of the widest areas and still an area that Black would love to play in. So we're going to negate that. We're going to play up here on the right. We're going to do it fourth line just because we want a stone that has access to the center. Black's got a lot going on there. We don't, but he does, and we want to be able to combat that. And whatever we play, we want to make sure there's lots of room so if he tries to pinch us, our comfort is, is easy. So, for instance, you see the cursor here. If we play here and he pinches us, we're really, it's hard to find breath. Okay. So, I usually think of the second move, which I would put here. That makes the first move here. So, if I play white here. If he tries to pinch me, well, he's playing inside a tight white area, so that's bad for him. But also, I just extend lots of room. So this is a, seems to be very safe. Could I go one more? Well, yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's better. I don't know. So this one is comfortable. I like being comfortable. Okay. We ask. Is our white corner? Is it okay? Sure, we can go corner, out to the left, up top. We're safe. Uh, but there is a corner just sitting there, ready to take now. We can share the corner, and we can do it for free, because if we take the corner, he has an unsettled group that's too far from home. So we just shared the corner in Sente. Now the corner, little tiny thing. It's no longer interesting. Very small. I can barely move my cursor around in a controlled fashion because it's so small. Where to next? I could continue up towards this wall, negating it more and more. That's a pleasant. Or I could say, well, his wall is pretty much taken care of. I can go do something else. For instance, corner. Let's go take the corner. Corners are always big. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to stay here until we're comfortable. 
This time, I'm not going to press again, although I believe he would respond. The reason is, if I play, which is not necessary, we've talked about that a minute ago, if we then turn, well, we have a low, uninteresting area on the left. That means we're developing something that's not very exciting. If he turns, he's playing in an area where we're extremely settled, not very interesting. So I don't care if he turns. Okay, so we're fine. Black's fine, white's fine. I'm going to play away. Where to? Well, we got this area on the left where we just said isn't too interesting. Uh, this area on the right, which we like. And then a large area with a whole bunch of black stones. Uh, a little concerning. It's a big area. I think, well, we, by all means, time to deal with this. How? Well, a couple ideas come to mind, but we want to keep it simple. So step one, let's just take a step towards it. We already know we were interested in this move. And this is taking a step towards his big area. So, if you could catch that, we keep talking about this move, and it is taking a step into his large area. There's other moves that are bigger steps, but this is one we already know we want, and we know it's safe. Okay. Now, Q player is going to play here immediately. Why? It's a good question. Is it because this area is so big? That th yeah, they're thinking, I want my points. If you can get rid of this idea of wanting your points, yeah, that's not where it's at. If we compare the size of this area, which Again, it's hard to move my cursor around. It's so small. And then the size of this area on top for black. I mean, I can put my whole hand in there. That's a huge area. That one's bigger. And again, we're not in danger here. Okay, where to? Number of ideas. Let's, um, let's go a little straightforward here. No special strategy. In black's big area, this move threatens to connect under. He didn't stop us, so we can now just connect under if we want. Nice, safe move. If he had stopped us, then we can run to the side, run to the center, and just start running away, which is kind of what I thought he would do. Okay, so. How are we doing? Well, our white stone's looking kind of lonely. We have two options. Connect home or run out to the center. Well, there's more going on in the center. Whichever one you're comfortable with. I want you to be more get more comfortable with running into the center where you have no points, you have no eyes, but it's safe in the center. That's something that took me, personally, years. I mean, how strong was I when I finally was comfortable running to the center was okay, probably four dawn. I was a really weak four dawn. I can't, I man, I knew nothing about go as four dawn. So I'm going to run out. Okay. His area, it's only three lines wide there, now four lines. It's not very impressive. Uh, let's check out this white stone. It's home, this white stone. Not much of a relationship. I'm going to go one more time. And now it's a straight line. It's almost, now we're not touching. But you see the feeling of we're in line with it makes us safer. Oh, I'm out. And I can connect under anytime I want. 
Okay. Starting to feel good. Now, again, we don't have any base, but we can connect under and we're feeling good. Where to next? Well, this spot here has just been, we've been drooling over it. And it's like, well, there's, we're completely prepared on the left, on the right, and the center to play it. And it's a free move. If, if he ignored, he's cut into two groups, both of which are weak. So that's why it's so meaningful. Okay. We're fine. He's fine. On the left, what about the upper right? Uh, I'm not seeing any eyes there for him. Maybe one here. Oh, all of a sudden, this move attacks him. So we get it for free instead of a, at the cost of a whole move. We just got this profit because he's weak. This is the foundation of Go. Go is about the strength and weaknesses of groups. Black found a group, a little bit weak. Nothing too serious, but a little bit weak. We got a whole free move, like 10 points, and it's still our move. And okay, respond. And where to now? Uh, boom, 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 boom. We're alive in the corner. Now, that's something a 10Q is not going to know, perhaps. So, seeing as how we're playing as a 10Q, we're going to finish the corner. I wouldn't, because I know I'm alive. But a 10Q is not going to know. And he's a man, I want to be more comfortable. Great, let's go ahead and live in the corner. Okay. Don't let him out. And then what happens with this cut? It's a habit you need to be in. You don't just save the cut. You do a short little read. If he cuts, a tie, save, a it's a ladder right to the stone. Just an immediate kill right here. Now, we are weak there, meaning there is a cut. The cut just doesn't work. So we're not in danger. It's a matter of size. And again, that's a very small area. Okay, where to next? We could think about continuing the attack. So, in fact, we're going to do that. That's our weak stone. You see the cursor. I'm going to come up. And we're starting to wonder where are his eyes? He comes down. Well, we already lived. That's taken care of. But now he's threatening to connect under. Well, let's stop that. Okay. Some interesting things here. Surround. There's some reading to do. This is where it's hard being a 10Q. Where are you weak? Well, if you can see the surround, if black tries to cut, it's double Atari. So, and there it is. Now, I'm not just going to play. You see the double Atari. But we're going to lose two stones. So I'm going to check out the other Atari. Double Atari, he saves, we take, he cuts. These two die. This is where it's reading becomes difficult, you know. So, what about Atari on the other side? Save. Save. Yeah, we need to take the two. Make a little sacrifice here. Yikes! He's giving it to us. I forgot, he's only at 8Q. Wow. That's game winning. That would have been an exchange. 
we get some points, he gets some points, we get something. Instead, we got to surround him. Where's his eyes? Oh, I don't think he has any. Just the one. Okay. We have two weaknesses, one on each side. This is the cut where it just works absolutely. So I'm going to fix that one. And double Atari. So he's dead. The whole group died. So great success for us. Uh, too complex for a 10Q. So sorry if that was a little over your head. But there's no choice, right? You will be in situations where you have to read out. That's all there is to it. So now what? <clears throat> well, he didn't resign. So we're either put another move down or we resign. So of course, we're going to put another move down. Where? Well, the only place he's going to win, the only way he can win, is by attacking this top group. And it is behind enemy lines. So we're going to get out. And we're going to get out till we're real safe so he has no hope of hurting us. Okay. There's a gap here. Are we concerned? It's an awful lot of white stones. I don't see the concern. Oh, now if, if anything happens here successfully, we have two separate groups. I'm going to go ahead and it's time to fix. I mean, you don't need to fix. You're fine. But it's becoming an issue. It's becoming interesting for black. So let's just clean it up. Is this a trouble to us here? No. Let's keep going. And then we move down. Now we'll move to the left. How about this way? Because our group is only one big eye, one big stick. There's no eyes yet. So we're just gonna make some shape. Oh, he wants to surround us. Nope. Make some shape. Hey. We have potential. And now we're just going to go forward and we'll try to live here. Let's, we'll make a point of living here. If we only have one eye, then we're going to have to capture the big group, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten moves. On the inside, that's 10 less points for us as he gets 10 moves on the outside, which is probably going to be 10 points for him. So we really want to live. So let's go for our second eye. Let's go this way. And then... Are we alive? Is that an eye? It's not. It, I don't know if that's hard to read or not. I think you can get rid of this eye. So we're going to play here, and now we're completely alive. He can't kill us. He can't live. Game over. Okay, he hasn't resigned, but there's no. there are no chances left. Okay, we're going to stop there. Hope it was helpful. Send in the comments and questions. I love answering them. And we'll see you all later.